I'll turn off the layer. And that's where we started. And that's where we finished. So... All right, got this shot of me, obviously, and with my daughter here. Obviously, one of my favorite shots of all time. This was taken a few years back. Um, but one thing that um, always bugged me was, you know, I got these creases in the background on this backdrop. This is like a muslin backdrop, a cloth backdrop. And, you know, there's obviously you want to either iron or steam these creases out because oftentimes when most of the time when these things come to you they're going to have these fold lines in them so uh, otherwise if you went the lazy route um, like we did here and you didn't get the creases out ahead of time and you're left with a shot with these creases in them and now I've got these squares um, how do we get rid of them well let me show you some ways to do it um, you can do some things in in Lightroom and you know maybe effectively come in here and use your healing tool here and just come right in here and kind of do that right there and it's going to clean it up nicely for you right just like that so that's one way of doing it just if you're a lightroom person um, you can do it that way now um, if you are more of a photoshop person like i am uh, you'd want to start off here and end up here like this. So um, here it is cleaned up. I did this in Photoshop. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. By the magic of editing, I flipped it right over to Photoshop very quickly. Um, it's never that fast. So let's just go ahead and duplicate the background layer real quick. Select your background here. Hit Control J. That will create a duplicate of the background. A few ways you can do this. Um, you could just use the Spot Healing Brush tool. Come over here, use the right or left bracket key, and just start working your way down. You know, not 100%, but pretty easy, right? This is just a little easier. This is why I use Photoshop. It's a little easier for me to manipulate tools like this, right? Um, then using that healing brush in Lightroom. Um, this is just easier to use. So... There's one way I've gotten, let me turn the layer off. So we started there and we have there and creases removed. So another way would be to use the patch tool, which is this one here. And you could come in and, you know, there's a little crease there. You can just select it and then drag it over to an area where you want to replace it with, right? Just like that. Um, and I'm using a pen and tablet, so I can target this pretty easily, but got to be careful. Don't want to chop off my head there or do anything weird. So let's bring it over this way. And there's a little spot right there, but, you know, we could maybe zoom in a little bit and get that right there, right? There we go. Control plus and control minus is zoom in zoom out right so not perfect so maybe i'll come up here and kind of grab this again bring it over there that's a little better bring that there so yeah use the patch tool that's another way and that's probably my i don't know which is easier um maybe i come back over here use this one again just come over here this is pretty darn easy to do this right here right um patch tool is maybe just a little more accurate maybe but either way, they work. And then I might want to just, you know, get some spots here that I see here and there. Control zero will recenter for me. I still don't know if I like this right here. Might come here and just kind of grab some spots there and note that I'm using content aware as the type when I'm using this uh, tool here. So maybe a slight little bit. It's giving me trouble right there, but really that's, let me get this little spot here. Really, um, that's it. So I'll turn off the layer and that's where we started and that's where we finished. So those were pretty distracting early on and once we're done pretty easily, um, clean these up. I'm thinking the spot healing brush is probably the easiest tool to use. Um, patch tool certainly will work as well if you, I, I mean, you can use both of them. 
Um, if you have a trouble spot, sometimes the patch tool will uh, not give you the results you want uh, or vice versa, the spot healing tool, and you can switch between them and use either one. So that's it. That's all there is to it. If you guys like this kind of content, give it a like, give me a subscribe, and I certainly do appreciate it.